The woman you are seeing now has come to the Synagogue Church of All Nations in search for solution. It is obvious that she cannot walk due to the iron rods that have been placed in her leg. She is in complete agony, waiting for Jesus to come and take away her pain and sorrow so that she will remember it no more. Everything that constitutes discomfort is represented by pain and suffering. Although this woman is experiencing much discomfort, the Bible says earth has no sorrow that heaven does not feel. God sometimes allows us to go through pain and suffering in order that we may draw closer to Him. Miss Ina has been to many places seeking solution, but she has now come to the realization that there is no human assistance that can redeem her from her deplorable state, meaning she has no other alternative apart from God. Let's listen to her as she explains why she has come to the Synagogue Church of All Nations for prayer. I just sister, welcome you to the Synagogue Church of All Nations today in Jesus' name. Amen. Please tell us your name and your age. My name is Zoru Kwono Aino. I'm 32 years old. The problem that brought me to Synagogue Church of All Nations is I cannot walk due to accidents, right bone fracture. You mean you're having the problem of inability to walk? The right leg bone has been fractured, and this came in as a result of uh, a motor accident. Why can you tell us when this uh, accident happened, what really took place? The, the vehicle somersaulted. So, and I found myself outside, and my leg has already broken. You mean the vehicle you enter some assorted, and you find yourself with a broken right leg, with a compound fracture? Yes. You can see some iron rods right inside your right leg. Can you tell us the purpose of these iron rods? The purpose of the external fixation is to hold the bone together. You mean these um, iron rods were used to hold the bone together because the fracture was a compound one? The multiple one. All right, can you tell us how you've been feeling, even with these iron rods right inside your right leg? How have you been feeling? I've been feeling terrible pain. I cannot sleep. I cannot eat. All right, who assists you about? It's my mom. And what's your belief in God today? I believe that God Almighty will heal me and make me walk. I pray you too that the Lord Jesus Christ will set you free today in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Prophet T.B. Joshua makes his way outside to the car where Miss Ina waits. She is desperate for a divine appointment with Jesus Christ, the healer himself. Lord Jesus, you are the healer. Declare her free, Lord, and forgive her sin. Declare her free and forgive her sin in Jesus' name. To God be the glory. With a fracture to the bone in her right leg, held together by iron rods, Prophet T.B. Joshua has just offered prayer in the power of the Holy Spirit, knowing that there is divine appointment in disappointment when God is involved. Before she could not walk at all and she suffered from excruciating pain. But following the prayer of Prophet TB Joshua, she went to the hospital where the iron rods were removed. And as you can see, she is on her way back to the church, walking freely to the glory of God. 
She has come to give God all the glory for His healing power. The evidence of God's miracle is our rising and walking. Remember the great biblical characters. Daniel's trials did not make him to lose faith in God. Rather, it made him to pray the more, believe the more. His faith shut the mouths of the lions. The three brothers, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, did not lose faith in God. Rather, their trials made them to believe the more, and their faith turned the blazing furnace to ice cold. This is just like Miss Ina. Instead of her trials to make her lose faith in God, it made her to pray the more, believe the more. As a woman of faith, her vision made a way where there seemed to be no way. Her vision made it possible for her to have an encounter with Jesus Christ, her healing provider, an encounter that would change the course of her life forever. A group of international visitors welcome Ina into their midst with warm applause, eager to hear her testimony. As she walks forward to the front, the visitors continue to clap appreciatively for what the miracle working God has done in her life. Our Lord is good. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. My name is Aino Lukono. I'm here to testify to the glory of God in my life. The problem that brought me to Synagogue Church of All Nations is I cannot work due to motor accidents. I had a multiple fracture and I was being taken to the hospital and they said they will abutate my leg. They said let them try it. Maybe the leg, the bone will join. So they said trying. They now put an iron in my leg. But there was no solution. So my mom brought me to Synagogue Church of All Nations where the man of God prayed for me and said, I am free, that I should go and remove the iron. And since then, I've been working. Shall we clap for wonderful Jesus? I can see, All my, right, for, can see my leg. For the benefit of our viewers, can you just show us the spot? Yes, the spot. Can Where you explain the how iron. the iron was inserted into your leg? Can you explain? It, my, it was drained drain into this leg and they, 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 they use screws to screw it. And this place, there was a big wound there that refused to heal. So later, when they stitched the bone, the, the wood, it break down again. So it was when I came to Snow that the man of God prayed for me that the wood healed. But before the prayer of the man of God, you couldn't walk at all. At all, I cannot walk. You are sitting on a spot. Yes. But to the glory of God, can you move and let's see you to the glory of God. Shall we clap for wonderful Jesus? Thank you, Jesus. This is a clear proof that our dear sister has been declared free. And the Bible says, once the Son of God sets you free, you are free indeed. To God be the glory. And can you stamp the foot on the floor? I used to have any pain. No, I'm not having pain again. The pain is gone. Yes. Forever. Yes. Let's clap for Jesus once again. 
To God be the glory. I want to ask you, when you have this problem, do you ever have the hope of walking again? At all. I thought they are going to cut my leg. But today, what do you have to say? I thank God for what he has done in my life. Through the man of God, Senior Prophet C.B. Joshua. <laughs> to God be the glory. Yes, you experienced it and you know the best way to explain. What advice do you have for those who have actually lost hope in the Lord? But your own case would have led you to amputation. But it's like, at the end of the day, here you are today, walking to the glory of God. What advice do you have for the people who are listening to you? The advice I have for them is that they should not lose hope in God. That all things are possible. That God that did my own can also do their own. Can you move across? Let's see you properly. To the glory of God. Shall we clap for wonderful Jesus? This is exactly what the woman couldn't do before now. Due to the problem of accident. That would have led to amputation if not for the glory of God. The Bible says it is only our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ that can do what seems impossible before the eyes of men. To God be the glory. We thank the Lord Almighty for what he has done in your life. And we believe before you, had this, before you came for healing, many saw you and they lost hope. Yes. Right now they can see you walking around, your neighbors, friends, sisters, um, what have you. Even what him. impression do they have about you ever since they've seen you walking about? They were surprised. They all congratulate me. And what's your promise to God for what he has done in your life? I promise I'll see no more. I'll pray with you that the Lord Jesus will grant you the grace to live above sin in Jesus' name. Amen. Once again, shall we clap for wonderful Jesus? Miss Ina now prepares to take a journey with the Emmanuel TV crew to the scene of the accident. After Ina boards the vehicle independently and without assistance, she directs the Emmanuel TV crew to the scene at which the accident took place six years ago. It was along this very road, the expressway between Lagos and Abiyakuta, where the accident had occurred. This is the exact place. Let's see the wreckage of the vehicle and listen to her as she explains exactly how it all happened. Yes, this is the way the incident occurred. Inside this, somewhere around here, where the ditch, there is a ditch there. The motor somehow sorted and entered that bush. As they approach the site, everyone is curious to see the place where the unseen hand of God was evident in the affairs of Miss Ina. Climbing out of the vehicle, they look around for the wreckage. Miss Ina has identified this spot as the point at which the vehicle went off the road. This is the wreckage of the vehicle I boarded that, that some assorted inside that ditch there. But I thank God I, I am alive today. Here is the wreckage of the vehicle after the accident that threw Aina Olokpona from the bus, breaking her leg in the process. It is clear a terrible accident had taken place. Can you imagine what might have happened at the time of the accident if God was not involved? We are traveling, so the motor was speeding. It now, over, it now crossed the road and tires from assaulting. But I was calling the name Jesus, 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 and I met myself at the middle of the road, but the, motor, the vehicle has already entered this ditch, and people were already falling inside the ditch. It was people around the, uh, this area that came out to rescue people, out, <coughs> carry people out of this place. So from there, they now took us to General Hospital at, uh, at this uh, Abiyakusaye. So from there, then I told them, I'm, going, I'm a member of uh, Lustav, that they should take me there. That's why they now took me to Lutz Hospital as Lagos. Gracefully and with ease, Miss Ina makes her way back to the vehicle. Before, she was unable to do this on her own, and if not for God's divine intervention, it would still not be possible. But what the devil meant for harm and destruction, God has turned to a good result. Ina is living proof. Emmanuel TV team have come a long way to come and see the very scene where the incident occurred. And we have listened to the woman herself saying all what happened and how the Lord has been so good and merciful to her. This is Shino John reporting for Emmanuel TV. We believe you have been inspired by the clip you have just watched. Click here to subscribe to witness more of God's power at work in our generation today.
and stay up to date with the latest prophecies, deliverances, sermons and testimonies from the Synagogue Church of All Nations. Emmanuel TV, changing lives, changing nations and changing the world.